all right guys this is it this is it this is it this is the finale hopefully of final fantasy 16 uh so this means that after this there will be no more streams only uploads but no publications of any videos for a long time from me so let's do a quick recap of um our boy here clive with his brother and um and faithful wolfhound torgo clive started off as a confused um well i can't even say confused but just a uh how can i put it uh he thought himself only as his brother protector a shield to um to the heir of the rosalia rosaria throne with it being josh he thought himself to be evil because he thought he killed his brother josh joshua little did he know he actually um joshua wasn't dead he reunited with torgo uh took on the identity um worked with some outlaws became um head honcho of that outlaw group known as sid and he reunited also along the way um first half of the game with his love jill so i can't explain it e any better than that so sit back relax and enjoy the finale of final fantasy 16. probably have seen this before and everything so just bear with it uh i know that there's a fight but at the same time i had to cut it short or else i definitely would have recorded that part as the finale but this can be the finale of finale so yeah uh up until this very point the game has not missed the hardest fight i've faced so far was against odin Bahamut was um was even a little bit easier but odin the three stages of odin crazy wait yeah all them stages of odin barnabas overall so the ultimate villain I, ironic is ultima i don't know how this fight is gonna go all i can say is we're gonna be in one if this is gonna be the final fight right here so hopefully you all enjoy what's um, happening and how it's going to play out. For those of you who have um, played this game, you, you have to agree with me. This is a solid 10 out of 10 and beyond. For those of you who have not played this game, pick it up. I'm definitely going to be trying to work on the platinum of this game. Play um, Final Fantasy mode to see how what the difference is. <sighs> I apologize for talking over, but at the same time, I just had to. I'll wait until I actually defeat this guy. I'll do edit cuts if I die too many times. But this guy, Ultima, God, whatever you want to call it, will be defeated today. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! That is where you are mistaken. You are nothing but your precious will. Brother. I 
can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. My friends, my family, we have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed, it may be broken, but it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. It's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. Bow down, offenders. Hearts this day.
Only with heads hung low is penance pay. O oh, wretched mortals incapable even of contrition. In fitting season shall we reap our harvest. <gasps>
gifted this chance. And still you would raise your hand against the Lord. What now? The darkness bends. He means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. Your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us.
Your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us.
that was too much right there if this was it fine but if not i'll definitely have to uh edit most of this out Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No, no matter, matter how hard, hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind. Somebody save me. Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just... go away?
None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother? Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless he has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place, eh? And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? 
In the halls of origin does our true power quicken. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. Crystals are no more, yet in their silence a new song rings, its chorus building, a crescendo as it enters its final movement, stirring those long aslumber to waking. Bloody crystals cracked, so where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that... ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clyde! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I will be with you and none. Thank you.
tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. And I'm going to need Otto's help. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's stock up what you can. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Is that all? Trouble with your gear, or...? So, what'll it be? Thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. Don't waste my time. You ain't got the stuff. Anything else? Something about it. Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck then. I'm sure you've all guessed. The crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. 
People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new Mother Crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the Blight since the Crystal's appearance. Would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pools, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. faced him at stone here. Ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. It's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Eh? Thank you. Joshua seemed upset. I thought it was going to be the finale, but sadly it's not. So I have to end up going to work early right now because, well, they somewhat meet, need me. So, as usual, next time we'll definitely get into the finale and I'll record a lot longer. Next, So, as usual, hit the um, like and comment button, all that good stuff. I love you all and I'm gone. I apologize, but next time we'll definitely wrap this up.